the easiest lucid dreaming technique in the world. If you've been watching lucid dreaming videos on YouTube, the chances are you're looking for this. And even if you're not, this is the way you can control your dreams, basically. Lucid dreaming obviously means to become aware of the fact that you're dreaming while you're still asleep. And if you've been watching browsing videos, YouTube lucid meditations or lucid dreaming music, any of this stuff, this will be the only video you need to see. Okay, in this video, I will tell you the easiest lucid dreaming technique. And it's not what you're expecting, so make sure you watch this whole thing. Okay, so the chances are that when you start, you're going to be taught or you're going to learn through various videos and articles, you're going to learn things called techniques, which is something like wake back to bed, where you set your alarm for 4am, you wake up, you go back to sleep, and then you try and lucid dream in that way, right? You, this may be familiar to you. If not, don't worry, I'm going to save you a whole bunch of time. So what ends up happening is you try and learn these techniques, you try and do, an in, they're called induction techniques, like a technique that will hopefully make you control your dreams tonight and what ends up happening is well usually they don't work especially for beginners you know you might have beginners luck and if you do that's great but usually what ends up happening for you know complete beginners or most people is you try and it doesn't really do anything you don't have a lucid dream you might remember your dreams they might be vivid but you don't actually have a dream that you control and it's not your fault you know this, you were taught the wrong way the way you do it, the easiest technique, is not actually a technique at all. And before you go, I know you're about to click away and think like, ah, oh, it's not a technique, it's all nonsense. It kind of is a technique in itself. By not being a technique, it actually becomes a technique. The technique that you do is you stop focusing on the end goal or the destination. Stop focusing on the goal or the actual result of lucid dreaming. Stop all that, okay? It's not gonna work. What you need to do instead is to focus on all of the things you can control that make that process. So let's say if the process is doing reality checks, writing your dreams down, meditating, dream journaling, yeah, that kind of stuff, right? That's the process. Those are all the things you can control. So focus only on doing those things consistently and ignore techniques. Stop trying to do a technique because when you do a technique, what you're really telling yourself is you're saying, I'm gonna try these specific things and then I want the result from those things now, like a recipe. Right, instead of focusing on following the recipe and trying to bake the cake perfectly now, focus on just becoming a better chef. I mean, that's probably a bad analogy, but you get my point, right? Focus on instead just becoming better and practicing the thing. Don't worry about if you don't make the cake tonight, just focus on getting in the kitchen more. I mean, I don't know why I use that analogy. It's a pretty bad analogy, but my point is focus on the process and not the actual specific technique that's gonna give you the results now because you don't need to get the results now. I know you think you do, but it's much better to just focus on the process and learning and enjoying the process of doing reality checks and writing your dreams down because that is what will lead to the completely random, spontaneous, infinite lucid dreams later on down the road.